Drive-in movies are returning for the summer, and they made a big comeback when the pandemic started a few years ago. And the Macomb County Drive-in is keeping it going with the summer season opening at Freedom Hill County Park in Sterling Heights. And Carl Giannotti is with us now, the owner and founder of Macomb County Drive-in Movies. Hey, Carl, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I don't think anybody's more excited than you that it's getting warmer outside. <laughs> let's let, oh. let's get to it. When are you opening it and what films can people see? Well, we start this weekend. Um, you know, I think people enjoy being outside in the spring and summer. So that's really what made the drive and take off. Um, you know, you can bring your lawn chair, sit outside in the blanket. We're on grass, so it really makes it nice at Freedom Hill. Uh, this weekend, we have uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, we have Raya and the Last Dragon, along with uh, Double Feature, Hangover and Easy A. Friday night, we have Encanto and Spider-Man, No Way Home. And then Sunday, The Greatest Showman and uh, Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh, wow. Okay, great. So, these, I mean, yeah. these, aren't, these aren't old movies. These are, no. these are new movies that, uh, that people can get out to see, and especially since people may not feel comfortable or may not want to be back at the theater. This is such a cool um, experience. Do people need to bring their own food? Do you sell popcorn and, and candy and everything there? Yeah, we have candy, uh, popcorn, Fago pop, and bottled water. Uh, if they want to bring a pizza in, they can, uh, absolutely, or order pizza. We actually deliver right to the drive-in. So, and how does your drive-in work? I know sometimes there there are you just tune your radio, or you, you have speakers that are out there. You can sit outside. How how does it work at your drive-in? Same thing. Uh, we have an FM transmitter, so people will turn the radio to a certain channel and listen to it through the car radio, or they can bring a portable radio as well. Uh, so that works as well. Uh, it's $25 per vehicle, so it doesn't matter how many people you have in the car. And for those old enough to remember, you don't have to hide in the trunk anymore, <laughs> like we, like I used to have to do. <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. No, um, no. And what what days are, are you going to be showing movies as people are planning ahead and making all their summer plans? Um, what days of the week are and, and what's the timing that uh, people should plan for? You know, I would say, honestly, the best way is to check our schedule because there are concerts going on at the Freedom Mill Amphitheater, right. uh, Michigan Lottery Amphitheater. So some days I won't be able to show a movie. So the best way is just check the schedule. It can be every day of the week. It can be five days of the week. So that'd be the easiest way uh, for them to check. And, and speaking of the schedule, do you have some special activities that are happening this month too? We do, uh, mainly in June, we're starting with the, the special activities. Um, we're gonna do a classic car night where people can bring out their old vehicles that we did that last year, it was really a hit. Uh, we're doing a Beatles tribute night. So we have a live tribute band playing. We're showing the movie Help and then Almost Famous. So that's a cool night for uh, people to enjoy the Beatles music. That's Sunday, June 12th. And then we're doing a Jeep night. A lot of people have Jeeps and their clubs and stuff and they can come out and great way to look at other jeeps and hang out and it's a giant tailgate party out there that's what's cool oh right yeah well the, and the jeeps take the doors off it's going to be this right. is this is really what summer is all about and uh, yeah. i mean well what do you think makes that the, these so special to be able to go to a to a drive-in uh movie i mean it's it's kind of old school but it's it's making a big comeback and may, you know maybe part of that had to do with the pandemic but what, what do you think makes it so special to you I think it really did happen because of the pandemic, really. Uh, people were looking for things to do safe outside, socially distanced. So I just kept using that and going, this is our third year now. I think younger people aren't used to the driving and the fact that they can sit outside and hang out with their friends and two, three cars come together and they all hang out. You can't do that in a the theater, right? So that's what makes it unique, I think. We've got, we showed some video too, you know, air mattresses, <laughs> bringing air mattresses in, uh, in the pickup beds and, yeah. Uh, you know, you bring bringing chairs out, and so you have a great time with the yeah. family. Um, I, I think I heard you mention, how much are, are the tickets, and where can people go to get all the information? Tickets are 25 per car load. Um, they can go to MacombCountyDriveInMovies.com or the Facebook page, same. Uh, and there's a ticket link on there, and they can buy their tickets on there. And, all right. Uh, one last thing, it's an LED video screen, so it's visible during the day. So we do a lot of family movies at like 6 o'clock, and oh, then we follow it up with another movie at night. Great. I'm yeah, I'm so glad you said that too because the sun doesn't yeah. set for so late, you know, so people right. will be like, ah, I might not be able to see it, but that that's yeah, great information. All right, Carl Giannotti, hey, thanks to thank you so much for uh, being with us this morning and sharing all the information. Really looking thank forward you very to much. Uh, to seeing the movies this summer. Appreciate it. Thank you.